Howdy, Tinker Nerds. Just sit down, relax, and listen to my cool, dulcet tones as I elaborate upon the comments from my How to Make Your Own Internet video. You can click here if you haven't seen it. Let's see what comments you all had to say about how to make a mesh network. You won an internet. Well, that is a surprise. Thanks. Did you really misspell technology in the intro? After seven years of doing high quality video tutorials, do you think I would honestly make I think it's safe to say I am a moron. Most of these rely on some kind of network that already exists. I mean, how do you connect to those devices without internet or nearby range? I don't think it's fair to say that they rely on existing networks just because they can use existing networks. Take Servo, for instance. It only relies on other smartphones that have the Servo program installed. With the amount of people that have smartphones nowadays, think about if each one of those smartphones was essentially a wireless router. You can imagine how effective that wireless network would be. In the case of Project MeshNet, they do use a current networking infrastructure simply because it's easier and cheaper than creating their own. But if you really want to create your own internet infrastructure, as some cities have done, the best option would be to use long-range wireless repeaters that can repeat your internet signal to other devices in the area. Aside from the MeshNet projects that I suggested, I also asked for ones that you all knew about. And here's what you all had to say. There's a very interesting project called GUIFI that is achieved to make quite a significant network. Here in Berlin, there is an initiative called Freifunk, where people set up powerful wireless routers that create a mesh net with each other. MadeSafe is in development as an internet that rides on top of the current one. It's barely the network that we're addicted to, it's the World Wide Web. What we're addicted to on the World Wide Web is the content. YouTube, BuzzFeed, Google, Twitch. But what if all those services were available on a mesh network? If just as many people were on mesh networks providing content as on the regular internet, then I think mesh networks would be just as addictive. What exactly is the difference between mesh and P2P? Those BitTorrent apps appear to me like a private network too. The difference between a mesh network and P2P applications is that with P2P applications, you're connected directly to another device in order to receive and transfer data. In a mesh network, however, each device is a node, and each node can route, receive, and transmit data to every other node on the network. So in a mesh network, each device is essentially a router. I hope that helps clarify things. Where do you find your sound effects? I'm personally having a hard time finding good ones. Good sound effects are kind of hard to find for free, but two of the resources that I like to use are freesound.org and freesfx.co.uk. If you know of any more, please, I would love to see them in the comments. All right, everyone, thanks very much for all the comments, and keep watching my Tinkernut Remix channel for my next Tinkernut Labs video. See you all next week.